What's up Bertini fam? Now in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing my new helmet from Rurock, as well as setting it up for moto vlogging. Now for those of you all who don't know, this is my Simpson Ghost Bandit Carbon Ghost Carbon Mod Bandit Ghost Mod Bandit Helmet, Simpson. This is my current moto vlogging setup. Now, if you haven't already seen this video on my YouTube channel where I showed you guys my settings on my GoPro, as well as how my moto vlogging setup is done, go ahead and check that out. I'll go ahead and put a link in the video. Anyways, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I set this thing up. I got a few things here that I wanna go through with you guys, and I'll walk you through my entire build process of my moto vlogging setup. Now, do me a big favor, if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and click that subscribe button right now. Put out that good energy out there into the world. You know you wanna do it. By the way, check out my very, very, very sexy back. Man, I'm really digging that rear end. That's what she said. Oh, no, 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 not that. <laughs> Just come on, you guys, let's do it. Anyways, I have the bags off right now because I actually gotta get some more B-roll, if you will, of me riding the bike with my beautiful new swing arm on there and that gold chain, diamonds on my neck. I don't know why I said diamonds on my neck. I was gonna sing that song, but anyways, that's why my carbon bags are off the bike right now. Look at the other side though, it's so beautiful. It's just so pretty, so very, very, very nice and beautiful. Anyways, now that I got all those formalities out of the way, go ahead and roll the intro. All right, now a few items that you are going to need to make this job absolutely perfect. First things first, you're gonna need a chin mount. And I'm gonna show you how to put this on, by the way. The one that I use on all of my helmets, my preferred one is the one from Ride Tech. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description box below. You are also going to need some very small cable ties. These are four inch cable ties. I like them really, really, really small. Other thing I like, is some Gorilla Tape, the all-weather kind, just in case you ever get caught in the rain in your helmet, playa. Some 91% IC propohol alcohol. A C-clamp, a heat gun. This is the one from Porter Cable. I like this specific one. It is really good. I know some people are like, meh. I like the one from Porter Cable. It's been really good. I've had it for some time now. And a bottle of purified drinking water, because you might get thirsty. Anyways, let's go ahead and unbox this Rurock Atlas 4.0 liquid carbon. Okay, now a few things I ordered with my new helmet. First thing was a pin lock. Next thing was a pink shield because all my shields must be pink. And then obviously it comes with a shield. Actually it comes with, yeah, that's one shield. It feels like one shield in there. Actually, let's go ahead and open this up real quick. Yep, that's exactly what it is. It comes with a smoked shield as well. But this is typical with Rurock. You get the clear shield on the helmet and then you get this smoked one that you can put on if you so choose to have a smoke shield on your helmet. Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing out of the helmet condom. Wow, I've been waiting some time for this. Well, it looks nice. Oh, I noticed a difference already with the padding under here. This looks different, this all looks different. I wonder how it compares to the 3.0 that I have. Let me go grab it real quick. It actually looks pretty damn similar. Um, I don't know if I could really tell any major difference. Oh, the 4.0 looks like it has a thicker cheek padding here. If you notice, the cheek padding on the 3.0 is a little bit thinner. Huh, um, I mean, I have my Senna 50S on this thing, but yeah, I mean, there's like real no noticeable differences. Maybe I'm just not seeing them, but Anyways, that's not what this video is anyways about. It's not about comparing these two helmets. I just wanted to get a rough idea since I have both the 3.0 and the 4.0. Um, let me go ahead and push this down real quick and see the difference. Well, on my 3.0, it's missing the chin. I took off my, my chin bra. But yeah, the padding is changed under here. You can see there's more like padding going on over here. So. Anyways, let me go ahead and start getting this thing ready to get set up. The other thing to point out, but I kinda already knew this from my 3.0, is that the Simpson Ghost Mod Bandit Liquid Carbon Carbon Bandit Ghost Mod Helmet is bigger 
meaning physically bigger on the outside than the uh, Rurock Atlas Carbon or Liquid Carbon 4.0. So there is a size difference physically of the outside of the helmet. This is, it looks to be a little bit smaller than the Liquid or Simpson Mod Ghost Liquid Carbon Bandit Ghost Helmet. So the first thing that I like to start off with is the chin mount. Now the chin mount does require some prepping. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean this area off with an alcohol swab. We are then going to heat this up with a heat gun and we're gonna get this thing mounted and we are going to seat clamp it down for a few hours. Now I just wanna show you before I go ahead and mount this, the stuff from Ridetech already comes with VHB tape. For those of you who don't know about VHB tape, this is like the strongest tape that there is. It is made by 3M. This stuff can literally hold sludge hammers to walls if placed appropriately. And then of course it comes with an alcohol swab. So we'll go ahead and alcohol swab this down, heat this bad boy up and get it onto the helmet. All right, now just to show you, this is what it looks like. That is the end, or well not the end end result, but this is basically how it's gonna look. All right, now just to show you, if you haven't seen my other video, I have this set up here, and I have this little arm that points this piece off. It cants it off to the left a little bit. So now when I put this in here like this, right, and I kind of clip that down like that, okay? My GoPro, let me grab my GoPro here for you, you know, so you guys can see this, but when my GoPro mounts up to the helmet, I'm already seeing I'm gonna have to adjust this a little bit here, but when my GoPro mounts up to the helmet, it is already in line and center view with where I want it to shoot. So instead of it being, if I would have mounted it straight, the GoPro would actually be off here to the side. And so you guys, when you're watching my content, you would be seeing this at an off angle if I didn't have this piece right here that mounts it off to the left. Then of course, I have my GoPro adapter, which goes into my Moto Rads setup here. I'm gonna have to adjust this a little bit for this um, this new helmet setup, as I'm seeing it right here, this needs to move forward a little bit. Um, but all in all, it still looks good. It's still a super clean setup here. All right, so I wanna show you guys something really quick. I wanna show you my Senna 50S setup because I know there's a lot of people who look for this online and there's no clear answer on this. So I use, let me see if I can get this good in the camera, but I use the uh, tape, the double-sided tape version that hooks onto here. And so I don't do the mount that clicks, or not clips, but screws into the helmet. This is the route that I do it. And so I just take my 50S and I just pop that on there like that. Um, same way that I did for the front chin mount, I do the exact same thing for this mount. And so I heat up the tape, I clear, obviously, I, or not clear, I clean up the entire surface with icy isopropyl alcohol, 91% prep the surface really well, heat everything up with a heat gun, and then put it on here and then press it down for a few hours so it glues in really nice and tight. Nothing is super stable, it's not going anywhere. And then what I've done here is I take my speaker wires, let me see if I can show you here with some lighting. Um, I take my speakers from my Senna and then I run them behind this padding right over here. And so everything is really nice, clean, and tucked away like you could see there, and then right over here, everything is super clean and tucked away, like that. Damn! And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, microphone, my lapel mic, and I'm going to put it inside of the cushion. Now, keeping in mind, I've already prepped mine here because there's a lot of extra cabling. I've already prepped mine here with the four inch cable ties 
wrap them up really nice and clean, cut off the edges, make sure that there's nothing sharp there. This way, there's not a bunch of cabling just all around. Now, I make mine longer and thinner. This way, it fits the entire side of the padding and that it's not pushing this piece out too far away from the pad. So we're gonna go ahead and put this out now. Now, this microphone piece, the microphone piece, I just leave it personally. And look, everybody has where they're gonna put it. I leave mine on the top of my cheek pad area. So it, my lapel mic sits up here in the microphone, so some, or in the helmet. So some people's actually sit like this. I mean, people have all different ways in which they put theirs. I put mine up here. That is where I've noticed based on my tonality, my voice inflection, when I'm writing, where it sounds the best is up here for me. And so that's where I put my microphone. So let's go ahead and run the cabling and then put it all in. All right, so I got the cabling ran. Like I said, it's behind the cheek pad, like I was showing you guys. And then, um, well, now I also took out some of the foam, by the way, some of the foam that was in there. But, um, I ran it down through here, and then this is where I put my mic, like I said, for my voice, this is where it works best for me. Does that mean it's gonna work best for you there? I don't know, you have to try it out on your helmet and see what actually works best for you. Now what I'm gonna do here is all this extra cabling, right? I'm going to cut pieces of this all-weather Gorilla Tape, and then I'm going to mount them really nice and clean here. This way it just looks a little bit better and this is not all dangling. And then I'll probably put like a small little zip tie over here if need be. All right, so I'll give you a quick walk around now that the helmet is completely put together. This is basically how I've taped everything up. Um, this is how the mount works. Obviously when I wanna take it off, I do this and then I could just unclip this. I don't ever take this, this portion off of the helmet. So this frontal portion always stays the exact same way 100% of the time. This way I know where everything is at. This never needs to come off my helmet. The only thing that does come off obviously is the GoPro. So when I wanna take the GoPro off and on, I'll show you here real quick. To put the GoPro on, I simply do this number. And then I put that in. I do put it at a little bit of a backwards angle. And the reason for that is because when we ride our motorcycles, typically we are kind of forward. The helmet is kind of forward. And so I have to keep that in mind. And then this just clips right into the battery door like that. And that is pretty much the setup. So that is more or less the angle that I have it at. Maybe a little bit more tilted forward than that for my shield. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And then my Senna pops onto here like this. And that is it. That is my Senna setup. That is my GoPro setup. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put again, the settings for my GoPro in the description box below. This way you have all of my GoPro settings. It is the exact settings as my other video. So if you want, you can go ahead and check that out. Or like I said, I'll have the uh, GoPro settings in the description box below. So either way, um, you know, you can get a hold of them. All in all though, really happy. I'm gonna go ahead and put the shield on and that will be the final portion of this video. I think it came out looking really good. I always like the look of my setup. I feel like it's super clean. All right, here is the finished product with the shield on. Like I said, I go for the pink shield. That is the color that I like. Obviously you guys can pick the one you like, but I think it came out really, really good. Really happy with it. Look at that thing. Oh, looks so freaking sexy. I love it. Anyways, that's all I have for today's video. Do me a big favor, if this video helped you in any way, shape or form, go ahead and give me a like, please. It really helps out my video and it really helps out my channel. Stay tuned in, I have some really cool videos coming out soon, especially one, like I said, we're gonna be making over 200 horsepower on the Street Glide sometime very, very, very soon. So you're gonna wanna stay up to date on all my content. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Most importantly, beyond everything else I discussed in this video, make sure you're putting out good energy into the world. 
and you're paying it forward. I'll check y'all out later. Bye now.